We all know that accidents can cause serious injuries. So children, tell me, how we can prevent these accidents? Yes. We should be always careful and follow safety rules to avoid them. So today, let us learn some safety rules and first aid to prevent ourselves from accidents and injuries. Lesson, Safety and First Aid Class 5 Science Safety from Fire A fire can be caused due to different reasons, some of which are Carelessness while handling burning match sticks Candles And firecrackers Electrical faults Accidents while cooking and gas leaks in the kitchen Fire hazards can be prevented by some simple rules. Let us learn about them. One must be very careful while handling fire. Electrical appliances and wiring should be checked regularly, for faults or breaks in the plastic covering of the wires. Synthetic clothes such as nylon should not be worn while handling fire or while cooking. This is because synthetic clothes catch fire easily. In the case of a gas leak, all doors and windows should be opened. One should not strike a match, or operate any electrical switch in such a case. This is because electrical switches generate sparks, while being switched on and off. Faulty gas in pipes should also be replaced. A fire can be put out by some methods. Let us learn about them. In case of a major fire. Example, in building. The nearest fire station should be informed. Firefighters normally put out fires with the help of water. Small fires can be put out using an instrument, called the fire extinguisher. Fire caused due to electrical faults is never put out using water. That is because electricity can flow through water. Such fires are put out using sand, or the fire extinguisher. Fire from petrol is also put out using sand. In case a person's clothing catches a fire, he or she should be made to roll on the floor to control the flames quickly. The person should be then covered with a thick blanket. Water can also be used to control the flames. Now, let us learn about first aid. We should try to avoid accidents by following the safety rules. However, if an accident happens, we should not panic. The injured person must be given first aid immediately. First aid may be defined as the first or immediate help given to injured people, before they are taken to a hospital. Let's see some first aid tips. First aid for cuts and scratches. Most cuts and scratches heal on their own in a few days. However, we can follow certain basic steps, to ease pain and avoid infection. Clean the wound with running water to remove dirt. Apply an antiseptic cream and cover the wound with a clean and dry gauze or bandage. First aid for fractures. A break or crack in a bone is called a fracture. It is very important to not move the fractured part. A cloth sling or a splint should immediately be tied around the fracture to hold it. And the person must be rushed to the hospital immediately. First aid for burns. Burns are a type of injury caused by fire. Hot liquids. Friction from clothes. Or even chemicals. They may be minor or severe. In case of minor burns, wash the burnt area under cool running water for some time. Apply antiseptic cream or a paste of baking soda on the burn. In case of chemical burns, remove the clothes around the burnt area, place the wound under cool running water, dry, and loosely wrap a clean bandage around it. 
a doctor must then be called immediately. If, however, it is a severe burn, a doctor must be called immediately. Any blister if formed, must not be pricked. Also, do not try to remove any piece of cloth struck to the burnt area, or apply any cream or ointment. First aid for nosebleeds Nosebleeds are very common and sometimes can stop on their own. However, a few first aid tips always come handy. Make the person sit up with his head tilted upwards. Hold and pinch the soft portion of the nose carefully for at least 5 minutes, to stop the bleed. First aid for sprains A sprain generally occurs around wrists and ankles when they are suddenly twisted. Sometimes the joint swells up and may also form a bruise. In such cases, make the person sit in a comfortable position and apply an ice pack to the area. However, do not apply the ice directly. Then carefully bandage the swollen area to limit movement. The person should be made to rest, keeping the sprained area above the position of the heart while lying down. First aid for animal bites. The most common animal bites are caused by pets, such as cats and dogs. Animal bites can cause a disease called rabies. The risk of rabies is high if bitten by stray animals. In case of an animal bite, wash the wound with running water, and cover it with a clean bandage. Take the person to the doctor immediately. For bee stings, apply a paste of baking soda or toothpaste. For wasp stings, apply vinegar or lemon juice. Snake bites, however, can be very deadly if not treated properly. It is very important in this case, to calm the person down. The steps to follow in case of a snake bite are Do not allow any movement of the bitten arm or leg in order to keep the venom from spreading through the body. Position the victim such that the bite lies below the level of the heart. Clean the wound with water, but do not flush. Cover it with a clean, dry dressing. Do not apply ice or try to cut the wound to take out venom. Take the victim to the hospital immediately. Questions for you. Find the meanings of the following words. Hazard. Splint. Blister. Comment your answer in the community group of my channel. As this video does not contain comment section. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.